Okay, hello everybody. This is the final part to the the basic programming of Seawolf on the Amstrad CPC 464 videos, and uh, it's done. It's written all in basic. Uh, the program is about 50 lines long. 50 uh, between 50 and 60 lines long. I'm going to save it before I run it, and I'm going to show how I do that on the Android device. So I'm going to let's see, switch to the screen here. Type save. This is version 10, the final version, hopefully. And I'm going to switch to uh, close up of the Android device. I'm going to hit cord there, hit return on the keyboard. I'm saving it. And I'm just gonna have to rename the file as soon as it saves it. Stop it. Okay, so there it is, it's saved, 0.9 megabytes, I'm going to switch back to the screen, no not that one, this one, I'm run it, a little splash screen there, that's a real simple game, it's uh, very similar to the original arcade version. You hit the ship. Well, you get a score. A little, kind of a little explosion. Not not much of one. It's not not fancy. Nothing fancy. You got a timer. You can only move the crosshairs left and right. And the fire button is the the green copy button between the two cursor keys and there's no sound effects it's, it's only you know it's my my first game I've written on the Amstrad so it's not too fancy you know but uh, it's playable and then when the timer runs out it's game over so this has been a very interesting project. It took a couple of days. Uh, I had to learn some commands on the Amstrad. Uh, go back to, I think this is 40 column mode. Go over some of the code. Alright, so first I had to figure out, okay, how can I use the keyboard? So I used the N key function and tested the keyboard and found out that uh, 9 is the copy button. I, I, got a, I got the Spanish version of the CPC 464, so it's, it's copia maybe, I'm not sure. And then the, the left and right cursor keys is 8 and 1 respectively. And I went ahead and got the up and down the codes to the up and down keys just because I'll probably use that in a, di in a different game if I do another one. I'm using mode 0. It's on line 7. That's uh, the lowest resolution mode on the Amstrad as far as I know. Uh, I'm using the symbol command to redefine some characters 
Uh, the first one is for the battleship that takes up two characters. Then the torpedo, I think. Then the submarine and the explosion. And uh, then got the splash screen, set up a timer, a floating point timer because it's easier to control. And I go ahead and, and and print the graphics on the screen that doesn't have to be constantly updated. So I only have to draw that once. That's the time and score text on the screen and uh, basically the water line. And no, it's not animated. <laughs> That's a shame. Let me show a, a screen of the original. That's the original arcade Seawolf from 70, I think I said 76, 77. So it's very similar. It's missing some stuff. It doesn't have the, uh, the floating mines and it's only got one ship going across the screen. But, you know, I wrote it basically in a day, day, day and a half and on a computer that I never programmed on before so and then we got uh, it basically checks to see if the torpedo hits the battleship and if it does then it shows the explosions and it, but it, it waits you know to give the player a chance to see the explosions otherwise it would just I'll disappear real quick. Uh, and 1000 on is the end of the game routine, which basically just prints the game over. That's it. So, that is my basic program on the Amstrad CPC 464 using my Android save and play device uh, hope you enjoyed the video and feel free to type in the game on your computer it, it's pretty basic I mean it, it would probably run uh, on just about any old 8-bit computer you know or well any computer that's got uh, a basic language. The main thing is it would need to have uh, a command to be able to locate or position text on the screen. Uh, you would probably have to adjust some of the boundary parameters depending upon uh, your resolution. Uh, I was kind of disappointed about how slow it runs because this machine is supposed to, to run at like I think 3 megahertz which is like three times as fast as a uh, as a Commodore 64 and like two to two and a half times as fast as like an Atari 8-bit computer however it does not have a text mode so all the that looks like a text mode but it's not it's just it's uh all it's got spitting up graphics and so it actually has to uh just draw all the time like it's uh like it's in high resolution mode so uh, that's fine. There's uh, still a wide variety of games to be done on this. I mean, if you look at uh, some of the old, like, even older computers, they were making games, like, for the Osborne, <laughs> you know, which, you know, had a little, uh, you know, a little, what, four inch or three inch screen, something that's super small, you know, and CPM basic. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe 
if you want some more of this content and I guess that's all for now uh, I'll have another video coming up here shortly about uh, some Commodore stuff I do like my Amstrad computer I almost got another one but I thought well this is this is enough it's a big computer so it's enough